Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's talk about AI BI dashboards in Databricks, right? Uh, how the video will proceed is first, I will show you the difference between the legacy and the new dashboards in Databricks uh, UI itself. And the next one is how to create the dashboards from notebooks that is different scenario. And then also there is different places to go to the dashboard page because Databricks has all the different uh, places from where you can navigate into the dashboard. I will show you that. And we will try some examples with one Titanic dataset that I showed you in my previous video also, the same example dataset. And then I will show you how you can publish or even share the notebooks or dashboards so that other can view the, the dashboards that, that you create in the Databricks UI. Let's get started. This is the blog post. Uh, there is next level interactivity in AI BI dashboards. There are different blog posts from Databricks and this is the recent one as it says September 9. I'll provide the link in the description. Please go here if you want to know more into the uh, dashboards fields because Databricks has aggressively implemented this AI BI Jenny and AI BI dashboards as well as other AI features into the Databricks UI. You might find new things as time passes. So there might be some updated things also in the future. So recommend, I recommend you to also go through the blog post in order to get the uh, more recent uh, developments in the Databricks. This is the Databricks UI, as I showed you before. And also one thing to notice, not notice, but I think one thing to also say you is, I have created the 30 days of Databricks already. If you are completely new to Databricks, you might find a little bit confusing what is the UI, why is these things in this way and and that way right so i recommend you i recommend you to go through these 30 days of databricks series i have explained all the tiny bits of databricks so you will get the overall understanding of how databricks works the next uh, playlist is what i am creating now which is called just databricks and I am going to create more videos in the future and add this into this particular playlist. So you can watch whichever you want, but my recommended way is to first go through this one and then you can follow the playlist here. Just my recommendation, but it's up to you which way you want to go. Right, so now let me go here. The first thing was legacy and new dashboards, right? If I go here, if you see on the left side, I will first go you and show you the the place easiest place go to go to the dashboards is the dashboards, right? Here, if you see here, there is dashboards, which is the newest one, just dashboards, right? The new, and there is this legacy dashboards. This is what I was trying to say. If you go to the legacy ones, from here also you can create the dashboards. If you have some favorites, it will be there, all the dashboards you can see from here. And there are also some examples. For example, if you go here, there will be dashboard sample gallery, and you can just take this New York City taxi trip analysis and see how they have implemented this. You can use similar kind of approach uh, to do, and you can even import from here. I will show this example in the newest version. So if I go back to the dashboards, again to the legacy one, and now you can create from here. You can see create a dashboard, create legacy dashboard, and then import dashboard from a file. So you can even import this from the files, right? This is the legacy one. If you go to the dashboards, you can go from here, top view gallery, sample galleries, the same galleries are here, right? And if I go back, there is this create dashboard. From here, you can create the dashboard or import the dashboard from the file, same as before. This is simple information for you. There are two types of dashboards. One, the legacy one, and now the newest one, which has all the AI, BI capabilities of the uh, dashboard, right? Now, let me go to the next part, dashboards from the uh, notebooks, right? That one, I will not go and show you how to create the dashboards from the notebook, but I will refer you to my video, which I created before. So if I scroll down here, I have created one video somewhere here. You can see the day 11 video, create dashboards from Databricks uh, notebook. So it seems that this is what many find helpful. There is already 10K views compared to the other, other videos. So you can go to this particular video and know how you can create the dashboards from uh, a notebook. So now let me go back. The third part is different places to go to the dashboard page. This is what I like also from the da Databricks perspective because there is everywhere different links to go to the dashboard. So it's easier for you to navigate into the UI. The first uh, one is 
this dashboards as I showed you before you can go to dashboards this is clear there and you can go there this is one second one if you go to this plus icon here go plus and you can see you can create the notebook query and the dashboard if you go to the dashboards it will take you to the dashboard this is the new dashboard this is not the legacy one right just the dashboards meaning that it is the newest one you can see this is here right now i will go back that is the second places that you can go here right the third one is if you go to this catalog let's say that i want to go to this titanic data set i am now in the table right this is about this table meaning that there is three label hierarchy there is this um, uh, catalog and there is this schema and this is the table from here you can go to the dashboard so you can see here one additional thing is if you click this down arrow it will show you open in a dashboard same as this one and there is open in tableau desktop in the power bi so you can already open this table in those places also I, I don't actually play with many dashboards but i think the databricks dashboard capabilities are increasing day by day you can just compare between tableau or power bi and then with the databricks it's up to you which one you want to use but there is the option that you can go into those platforms also with the same uh, data set uh, they have right so this is the three places and one more place that you can go is if you go to these queries and now here you can write some queries for example, if I go here and I will say create query, now it will open in this SQL editor, right? And here you can write something. For example, here I can go to YouTube. So here what I can do is I can say SELEC, it will be auto-completing, select. I can say all from, uh, what is the table name? If I type TI or maybe what is the name? If I go to Databricks from here, the good part now you there is already the catalog in two layers that helps you go through the table. So if you go to YouTube, there is this train Titanic, right? So I can go here and say train Titanic. I hope this works because I'm already in this schema level. So if I go here and I need to first start the SQL, uh, but if I just do control enter or I can just run here also, right? I will run this one. And now you can see for less is automatically running behind the scene and it will just take seconds you can see as i speak it already went on and it works otherwise if it was with the other cluster uh, it, it would have taken some time so now you can see the table is already here let me close from here you can say okay download if you click the plus icon here is the visualizations go to visualizations just take some random things this is the table diagram for example i will say save and now we have one diagram how to show this in the dashboard if you go here you can see there is this add to the dashboard or add to legacy dashboard so from here also you can go into the dashboard so there is already four different ways that i showed you to go to the dashboard there is a, again one more <laughs> places because everywhere there is the place if you go to the workspace and here this is the uh, three dots and this is the import export kind of things but what i recommend you to go is if you go to the workspace for example let me make this smaller here is the copy path if you go to create here is also the dashboard so you can see from every places databricks makes your life easier to go to the dashboard this might be simple thing but it is easier in the ui itself for us to navigate but yeah this is what we went through right now let's try some examples in the dashboard i will go here the easiest way i will go to the dashboard and I will go here and create the dashboard, right? But, but what I can do first for you also is New York City trip analysis. You can just import this and now it will be imported in your dashboard here, right? So from here, you can see you need to have this serverless running here. I have already run this. So now you can see how the dashboard is managed here. And uh, this is the New York City dashboard. And there is this canvas here, which shows you the dashboard and there is this data associated with this dashboard so from here you can see what is the sql queries that is going under the hood in order to clear the dashboard from here you can see that there is this select icon there is this add a visualization this is this add a text box this is the filters that they have already here so you can just play around with this and you can see yeah, this is the filters right if you go here and choose the time from where you want this is the pickup you can click 730 7030 and it shows you 
uh, that one so it filtered already into that so this is how you can explore the existing dashboards but let's create our own so i will go to the dashboards again create uh, dashboard and we are in the clean looking ui so that we can start creating the dashboard right so from here what do you want to create there is also visuals to help you or guide you so it says add data to get ongoing create a data set for your dashboard by writing your own sql queries and so on and there is this move add a visualization add a text box add a filter right you can just play around. so first let's add the data we don't have any data here you can say create from sql or you can select a table I, I will select the table and now i take this titanic data set i will say confirm so now you can see there is this train titanic and there is already the data set being shown here so now i can go to the canvas now you can see the first part is done it is gone what i can do now is i can just go here and click this add a visualization it will show us where you, i want to create the visualizations let's say that i want to create somewhere here i will just click and now you can see this is the new place where we can create a visualizations now comes the next generation dashboard kind of things where there is already some suggestions you can see here based on the database or the data set that i provided right it was the train titanic i didn't provide any information here apart from the data set itself right i showed you in my previous video about the ai bi Zeni. i have this description in the data set I have the description or the comments also in the columns based on those the ai took control under the hood it is suggesting survival rate by gender so i can just go here and click okay survival rate by gender and then it will create us the dashboard you can see this is the dashboard and you can accept it or reject it i accept it and now you can see there is already one dashboard here right and in these three dots you can go here you can delete these you can clone these you can even view this in the full screen copy link to the widget and all the things can be done here right so let's say that i want to have a text box on the top right i will click this i will go here and then here i can just uh, go and say maybe i will do does the markdown work here let's see if, if the markdown works right i haven't tested this before i can say titanic data set visualization i will just do preview okay it works by the way that markdown also and then that's it it's there so we have a heading there already and then we have the one dashboard here okay so now you can see we have one uh, title and then we have one visualizations right so now let me go and add one more one more dashboard here right if i go to the uh, add a visualizations i can just click here and then go here right there is something there is again uh, there are some suggested things here but what i can do here is maybe i want to have the passenger count right what i will do here is i will write okay passenger count and enter okay the spelling mistake but i hope it gets yeah there is this passenger id and we are just going to count it but this does not looks like a dashboard right so what we can do on the right side if you see here is this table because now by default it is accepting as a table if i accept here it will be shown here you can just play around with this but let's create some count numbers right so if i go here and i can choose different types of visualizations that i want to show right so what i can do here is this counter also let's say that i want to have the counter and what is the basis on the counter you want to have like the value right if i go here there is this value i will say maybe count i will just code the count and you can see the total data set here is to passenger count is 891 now you can see we have two different dashboards right so now what i can do is i want to have one maybe let's say filter so i will just click this one and i will go here and place the filter right for the filter when you place here you can see there are different uh, options here let's say that i want to go to the fields and here you can choose what are the different values you want you can have the date picker you can have the single value you can have multiple values and so on i can say single value and what is the field that you want to have so i will just go here and choose maybe i can choose age or i can choose any of these things let's let's maybe go with the two this uh, sex column so i will go into this one so now you can see we have the filter here so if i go here i can say non it does not have any value because that's the non 
right and this table i can just go here and if you see this hand icon will be there i can just go here and when the hand icon is there i can just drag and make it in the same level so it looks better so now i can go here and say just the female so you can see the female number is being reflected in both of this i can go here and say male and it is reflected in both of these dashboards now i can go all and have all the uh, dashboards this is how quickly you can create the dashboard so all the things i just want to give you an example so you can play around with this and one cool feature what i want to show you here is this is one filter on top of the dashboard right but what if you want to have the filter already from the one dashboard to the another dashboard that's called course filtering or i think these cross dashboard filtering something like that you can go here and see in the example okay it is called cross uh, cross filtering so if i just click on the mail you can see it is reflected here and if i again click here it will show both of these and if i again go here and then it is filtered based on the female count only so it's quite easy to just navigate into the dashboard itself and do the filtering right so yeah that's all i want to show here and then now let me go to this thing if i want okay share and publish kind of things now let's go here and now before that i will go on top right here you can give any names you want here i gave this new dashboard but you can just give any any dashboard name here and the draft is here draft and the publish here is also the publish here is also the publish you can publish uh, from here also and there is this uh, 12 minute ago it was refreshed 12 minutes ago you can click it and you can see the refresh icon here and you can see it is refreshing and it will be refreshed now so it's a 10 second ago it refreshed right and now here is the publish same as the one that i showed you here you can click the publish and in the publish there is two things you can go and read here but one is the embedded credentials by default and what does this mean is when you click publish all viewers of the published dashboard will use your data and warehouse permissions to run the queries you can publish this or then you can go ahead and choose don't embed credentials this one is secure data and warehouse permissions when you click publish each viewer of the published dashboard will use their own data and warehouse permissions to run the query so you just provide the dashboard they will use the data and warehouse under the hood you can just choose any anything that it fits your use cases and the last one as i is the share if you go in the share this is similar to what i showed you in the ai bi jenny part from here you can try to add multiple users groups or service principles and you can say okay manage edit run or view whatever they want to have it and from the settings you can assign a new owner also for this there is this copy icon here and there is also the embed dashboard you must publish the dashboard before you can embed it and there, there was one viewer who asked me if we can embed the notebooks so yeah i can just to cancel now and i don't want to go and share it so yeah there you go we have we created a simple looking dashboard but you get the idea i'm not good into creating the dashboards but uh, now you get the idea what are the different things that you can use and create a good looking dashboard out of it so yeah that's all for this video i hope it was helpful if you have any uh, more things to say or if you want me to create a uh, new content what kind of content i want to create in databricks or in other fields also let me know in the comment section thank you for watching and see you in the next video